play golf with balls? That's lame. I only use discs. Why fling a dart when you can fling a disc? Cover the battlefield with flying Nilla wafers. I'm Walcom S7, and I heard you talking smack about my waifu. All right, so for this one, I, I have to get it off the wall. So true story with almost every blaster on that wall. They are actually in the box, and I don't think I've ever actually seen what's in this Nerf Nitron box, but hey, we're talking about the Nerf Nitron. Now, Nerf Vortex is pretty weird because it was uh, before Nerf Elite, and yet it still had so much more performance than anything else we got out of Nerf. But it was using a different ammo type, and in this case, it's flinging foam discs, but not the kind you think of when a foam disc pops into your mind. They were Vortex discs, and they were surprisingly good. Oh gosh, how long has it been since a uh, Nitron was unboxed on YouTube? Oh, is the scope missing? Oh, one sec, I gotta go find a Nitron scope. Three hours later. So I hate to do this. Uh, here's a picture of the Nitron scope. It's actually one of the cooler scope attachments that you can do with Nerf. I have a few of them. I don't know where any of them are. And there is a effectiveness versus time spent ratio that is losing its appeal here. So we're just gonna go forward with the video because it's just a scope. A really cool, really awesome scope. But this is a Vortex disc. It is a plastic, a rubbery plastic insert with a very rigid foam side. They don't hurt when they hit you and they're absolutely awesome for everything that's not accuracy. Vortex discs can bounce off walls and keep flying. You could bank shots and they naturally tend to curve to the right. So you can actually use that to land shots on people behind cover. And Hasbro only ever made one full auto Vortex blaster and that is the Nitron. The Nitron came equipped with a 20 round Vortex magazine, it has a foregrip and it's a flywheel blaster with a full auto pusher. Mag release is ambidextrous, it's got one on each side, just kind of go like that, pull the mag out, and it's got ammo storage in the back, so you could carry multiple mags. Flat topped, it's got a Nerf attachment rail right there, but no other attachment points, no stock, no barrel, no nothing. Obviously not a barrel because it's a Vortex blaster, they're discs. And funny enough, it's like the best length of pull of any Nerf blaster in existence. This is truly a well-designed, well-built thing. And it would have cost you 40 bucks back in the day, and I bought every single one of the Vortex blasters because I loved Vortex and it outperformed basically everything else. Paint detailing is awesome. The color scheme is incredible. Vortex really died too soon. It did have a resurgence a couple of years ago, but it was only at Target and it was only a couple of blasters and they were just reshells with different discs. You've got a red trigger and you've got a firing trigger and that is all. This is a flywheel blaster. Flywheel emphasis on the one. This side is a motorized flywheel. This side is not, it's just a free spinning wheel. So the disc does get squished between two wheels, but one of them is not motorized. I assume that's because it wouldn't be able to spin right if both sides were, you know, spinning. And it is powered by six C-cell batteries. And there are three screws on this massive battery door. This has batteries in it from Toys R Us. Oh my God. These are a legitimate collectible now. You expired in 2019. These have been in here for a while and yet there is no sign of corrosion or anything. Well done. You know, I'm trying to remember the last time I fired a Nitron. What's really weird is it has this like thing on the top of the blaster. It's kind of like a lock or a jam clearing thing. It does have to be pushed into the forward position to actually work. If you slide it back, it will disable the blaster. I. Uh, now that I think about it, I don't even think I've ever fired one of these things stock. And yes, Vortex did use magazines. Put them in through the top, push it down with your finger, and you could load these magazines incredibly quickly. We got our 20 discs. We got our Nitron. Fire for me, baby. Yeah. So uh, that wasn't the fastest rate of fire. However, that's fine because the Vortex line was never meant to be anything about like speed or power. The discs did fly far, 
but they flew pretty slowly because they're discs. That also makes Vortex awesome. Yes, you can dodge Vortex, but you can't push forward through a choke point if there are Vortex discs in the air. So the slow free to fire meant your magazine lasted forever and you were a threat for quite some time. Yeah, Vortex was all about suppressive fire in my opinion. Nowadays, uh, the Vortex discs, I think there's still third parties selling them, although they're kind of prohibitively expensive sometimes. And if you use them in a war, they're probably gonna end up getting taken by people. I know that's one of the reasons why I don't use Vortex anymore, even though I think it still has a perfectly serviceable use in modern nerf combat. You could shut down an entire pathway, and of course you can thin out herds using something with a decent-ish rate of fire, and of course a decent capacity. Yes, it has a low rate of fire, but that also means the mag lasts far longer. And if you really wanted to, of course they made 40 round drums of nerf Vortex, However, I can tell you, because I bought two Pyragons back in the day for the drums to use with a Nitron, this thing will not hold them very well. It's a friction fit design and you can kind of make it work, but not really. And they will drop out of the magazine well, unless you really massively increase the spring in there. But you can imagine having one of these things with a big drum back here and a big drum up here, super heavy, but you could fire it for like two minutes straight. You want your Vortex Nitron to actually be good, to be unlike practically anything else out there, especially at the time. Well, I originally saw this from Boba Lolo and that was the Boom Nitron. I made one of these things and I can't believe I did it. Cause of course back then, any excuse not to use a LiPo battery. Bobo did a video where he took like a dozen nine volt batteries and threw them in this thing and just made it fire ridiculously fast. And it worked you could put down foam discs like none other. And that is about all you can do when it comes to power with Nerf Vortex. Nitrons are not that hard to come by. I actually actively pass them up when I see them at thrift stores because I know I have quite a few of them. And they're huge, big, bulky things, but they are lovely. So if you can get one with some discs, it's, it's kind of worth it sometimes. I mean, especially if they allow you to actually use the ricocheting hits and stuff like that. You can literally bounce these things down a hallway. It is incredibly cool. But I seriously wouldn't pay more than maybe like 20 bucks for this thing with the mag. The scope is a different story because it is one of the cooler scopes Nerf has ever made. It had multiple LEDs and multiple pieces of plastic in it, which gave it this super cool sci-fi vibe. Yeah, those can sometimes be kind of expensive. I haven't checked on the prices recently, but I remember them being pretty sought after and that's one of the reasons why I have so many of them because they're just freaking cool and it's honestly been super fun and refreshing to revisit this because I, I really just love the Nitron. I think it's a wonderful blaster. I'm all comment seven. Thank you very much for watching this video. Chances are at the end, you like what I did here. So please hit like, get subscribed, ring the bell, leave a comment, do all that algorithm garbage. Help the channel grow so you can help this hobby grow. Most of you aren't subscribed. And I know that's a big ask for a lot of people, but when you subscribe, it's like the best way to help the channel bar none. It tells YouTube that my content is worth putting out there to other people. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different video because this was day 15 of Tag Backness and there are other videos before this one and there'll be many videos after it. Check out the playlist in the top right corner. There's an eye icon. I am touching it. Now I got to pick up all those discs.